This is a product I'm actually quite excited to have a look at. This is the Vision Tech Candy Board. It's a wireless mini keyboard with a built-in touchpad. So one of the things that they're saying is so cool about this is that the fact that is the fact that the touchpad is capable of being used in both a horizontal or a vertical position, and also that the quality of the touchpad is right up there with the ones that you'd find on a laptop versus some of the other kind of uh, lame touchpad integrated keyboard units that uh, just use a really low quality touchpad, like it's basically as if it's not even really meant to be used. It has a built-in laser pointer, so I guess you could use it for pointing at stuff. It has a USB connector with no drivers needed, and it has a little compartment to store the USB dongle. There's a USB input for charging the unit, and it works with Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, Mac, and Linux. So basically everything you could want. I uh, lost my unboxing knife when I accidentally tried to take my keychain onto the plane with me when I went to Markham and not really thinking about it before uh, taking my keys I left my knife on the keys and obviously that got confiscated by airport security. Um, funnily enough not until the return ride so the Vancouver airport did not find the knife whereas the uh, Toronto airport did. So that's the candy board. It is tiny. Like I have small hands and already it's like, you can see it's like a palm, palm sized keyboard. Okay, let's just have a look at what accessories are included, if any, and then we'll move on from there. So we have a USB cable uh, for charging the device. Then we have the user's manual. Turn off this device in the hospital. Attention to do not operate this device while driving. Okay, that's good. These are good safety precautions they're giving us here. All right. Well, here's a little uh, map of the keyboard. Let's go ahead and take it out. So it's got the little laser caution on it. It's because it does have an included laser pointer. So that's the first thing I wanna try. Let's flip the switch to on and then try the laser pointer. Ha ha, it has a laser pointer, yee, cool. Okay, so you can, oh, here, here, here's an idea. What's that? They love chasing the laser pointer. That's Rocket. Here's Rumble. Okay, anyway, I digress. The candy board then. So here's the touchpad. The touchpad is big enough to be comfortably used with the thumb, and that's exactly the position that it's there for. Although with a finger, you might get a little bit more range out of it because the thumb, you see, I can't actually move my thumb too much on it. And let's have a look at the keyboard itself. Actually, I did want to talk about the layout of it. So here. So here's the touchpad, there's the laser pointer, there's the direction keys, okay, so that's handy to have. And then uh, there's a left mouse button, a right mouse button, so in case you want to operate the touchpad like this, that would work quite well for you. So I guess the touchpad can also be used this way, although I don't know if there's a toggle for that or if it just knows uh, which way it's being used. Okay, so function keys. Okay, function and alt is, oh, there's your start key. So if you hold function and press that one, that's your start key. Here's your Windows key. Wait, what? Oh no, this is the 90 degree flip. Aha, there's the start key, the Windows key. Okay, so that's how you flip the touchpad to, uh, to operate it this way. Okay, that's cool. Power switch, here's your RF communication indicator as well as your battery indicator. And uh, there's your shift or function, not sure which one it is, indicator. So you have a caps lock key, tab, escape, shift. You've got basically a full keyboard on here. Let's see how easily you can actually type on it. So if I was want to go to www.ncix.com, I mean, that's really what this is for, is just like entering a web address for your media PC. Like you're not gonna use it a ton, but um, I'd say that, you know, it's tough because this thumb, very comfortably reaches all of the left hand keys. Whereas this thumb, because of my smaller hands, actually only probably reaches comfortably to about the K or even just the L. So if it was shorter, you might be able to reach them all, but then you'd be compromising because you wouldn't have the touchpad anymore. So the device is quite thin. Let's have a look at where the USB key uh, wireless receiver is stored. It's quite large actually, uh, unexpectedly large, but uh, it's not Bluetooth, so I don't know if that matters. It's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. There it is. So we can put that back in. And then other than that, I guess there's not too much else to say. There is the candy board from Vision Tech. One of the other cool things about it is it's quite a lot cheaper than most of the other touchpad uh, keyboard combo units. And it really does, at, at the size of a remote, because that's really the size that we're looking at here, at the size of a remote, it has great functionality and the price is pretty reasonable. So I'd say it's pretty cool.
pretty cool indeed. Let's see if we can find a cat. Hey. Hey. And that laser pointer is a great little feature.